<laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, as you can see, we have an epicondylitis, uh, and I know this patient for some time, and she played paddle like me, and I know she had a long-term issue, and also she have a new injury in cough that we also will check out and see what we find. What is really important with epicondylitis is that when the pain starts laterally, you start to feel real pain here, is most people think it's actually only there. But we need to check actually the whole arm to see where the source is because it can become from compensation. In this case, it can be also a racket that is too hard or it can also be technical when you are playing the sport. Now, I know she plays a lot like me. And of course, that is also creating a lot of demands of the physical stuff. Uh, and I know you just tried to change rackets, uh, softer. Yeah. <laughs> you did everything. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, and you did a lot of other treatments. So, so let's see how it is. So we start with to check her strength. If you just squeeze my hand, please. You feel any pain here yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. So this is very typical. Is the rotating muscle when you play racket sport because of this movement with the hand is that the tendon here get affected. I can see already now it's very swollen. Uh, so we will start to check it here and go in. And when I just move on top here, so what we teach is to follow and feel the muscle like this. And I can feel it's very, very located here and also on the backside and probably go up here. It means the biceps, tendons and everything need to compensate for this uh, because I know this woman very well. She will still play even if she have a limb pain. Correct, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we will start if you just relax. So we start to feel here. So the muscle still is intact. So it's no fiber damage in the structure of the muscle. And I can feel here is over tension. It's a lot of edema in the muscle here. Okay. We go here to the epicondylite itself. Put a little bit of pressure, and this is also irritated right in the back end here. So this is no doubt that we have to do with the real epicondylitis. And now you can see that the patient has suffered. But what is really important, what we teach here in the school, is even if the patient have pain during the examination, it's really important to find the source. Because otherwise, like now, she get a lot of treatments, little effect but actually not a long-term effect. So we can absolutely make a judgment of the epicondylitis here is affected. How much pain would you say you have right now when well, he's palpating? Now, maybe nine, ten. Nine, ten? That's that's so painful. painful. Yeah. We continue and check tendon by tendon. Oh. And here, so it's also skeletal affected in the joint. So it's no wonder we go to the next tendon here. Mm -hmm. And we stretch the arm a little bit so I can reach it better. So we check gently here. So not to affect too much pressure. Mm -hmm. And here we have the muscle damage. Now you start oh. to feel pain, right? Yeah. Okay. That means I need to go further. So I go in between the two muscles here and deeper in, and I'm going to lift it a little bit to got in the back side of the muscle like this. Oh. Yeah, oh. here it is. We need to go in between the tendons here into her joint here to see. So it's because she had an injury so long time, I need to feel so it's no skeletal changes here or any damage into the joint itself. And that seems intact. We go to the medial side. Because why we do this, you can never have only one injury. This is a unit. With all this inflammation here, other parts will automatically compensate. As you know, if you hit the knee, you start limping, and this is exactly the same. So we need to find out every single part here. It is not too bad. A little bit here. 
going to be to here or not much. Okay. Okay. Just continue to start. If you move these two fingers for it like this. So I can see it's very little movement here. So that means it's been a very long term injury because normally if you look at my two fingers, you can see the muscle here is moving and on the patient here is no movement. Okay, so we're going to see here how far it goes. Okay, remember this pain, I will soon remove it. Eh? Mm -hmm. Let me have some fun. Eh? <laughs> okay, if you, I'm going to check your biceps here. Mm -hmm. So go in between. So I'm searching for the nerves. Yeah, no. So oh. here we can see ah. this pain is probably worse. Oh. Uh, how is the pain here from oh. 10? 10. 10. <laughs> oh. So this can actually be the source of this. Mm. And this is what many medical colleagues or physios, osteopaths forget. They focus so hard here, except checking for this. So this is what we teach here to understand the whole body. That the lower limb joints can actually be the one that compensates for the upper part. Mm.